It's been a while since Miley Cyrus ditched Hannah Montana and became known for her revolving door of bangers. The youngest Hemsworth brother has famously had a hard time keeping a hold of her, and her flings with Stella Maxwell and Brooke Candy prove this girl can play for both teams. Miley Cyrus's dating history has been as polarizing as her career. Abolishing her squeaky clean Disney persona, she also got rid of boy toys like Nick Jonas, Dylan Sprouse, and Avon Jogia, and she replaced them, well, with men. And women too, apparently. The two couldn't keep their hands off each other on Tuesday night, but things quickly escalate as Stella seems to push Miley's hands down her pants. What's going on guys? My name is Michael McCrudden and this is 6 Degrees of Hooking Up a la Miley Cyrus. Now we've made similar videos on this channel about Katy Perry, Rihanna and Jay-Z. Surprisingly the Jay-Z video has been the most popular. Once a cheater, always a cheater, I don't know. As always, be sure to let us know who's next in the comments down below. Alright, here we go. Miley's love life started out young and innocent. First up was Teen Wolf's Tyler Posey, pre-Teen Wolf, and pre-Hannah Montana. They met on the set of Doc, a show starring Miley's father, Billy Ray Cyrus, and were soon sharing their first kiss and their first relationship. But it's hard to keep a relationship alive when you're 9 years old and the two broke up when they were 11 after 2 years of dating. Most people in Hollywood, they can't even dream of that kind of longevity. It's been five weeks since your wedding, which is a long time for reality TV stars, so it's time to renew your vows. Miley's next reported encounter came in 2006, right about when Hannah Montana was taking off. And it was one glorious 14 year old date night with this guy. Hi, Julian. How you doing? No, no, I, I'm not talking about Scuba Steve. We're talking about young Dylan Sprouse. Now, we actually told Jimmy Kimmel all about it back in 2008, two years after the fact. Good on him for, you know, getting them bragging rights before he wouldn't be bragging anymore. What is going on here? Miley and Dylan, you guys, according to this magazine, dated for one day. <laughs> Miley stuck with Disney child stars when she began dating Nick Jonas in the summer of 2006, and unlike Dylan, Nick got more than just one date. The pair were on and off again right through to 2009, as Nick was taking his sweet time deciding between Miley and Selena Gomez, dating the two interchangeably but allegedly never at the same time. Regardless, that kind of juggling from the age of 14 to 17 places him at the status of a Disney legend as he did it all while leading the public to believe he was holding on to a promise ring. He really fooled us. Cyrus well, Gomez. Cyrus Gomez, Cyrus Gomez, and then I don't know what else happened. At some point while Nick was with Selena, Miley started dating the son of one of the songwriters for the Hannah Montana 2 album, Thomas Struges. Struges had no star power of his own, Miley's was enough, but then their relationship came to an end when there were photos of the two fooling around that made their way online. And this was the beginning of Miley's disnified image going down the drain. A short time after Miley's underwear clad pics hit the web, she started dating a guy whose entire job consists of having photographs of himself in underwear make their way online. Model Justin Gaston, who was 20 when he dated 16 year old Miley. The relationship only lasted 9 months. Word on the street is that Miley's weird relationship with ex Nick Jonas got in the way between these two. I think it may have also been his own weird obsession with her that made things go a little sour. Hey mom, <clears throat> um, I just called because um, I was wondering if there were any messages. In the summer of 2009, Miley shipped off to Australia to film the last song where she met Liam Hemsworth. On the set, the two were reportedly an awkward combo, but surely enough when production wrapped, they began dating and were on again, off again, until 2012. Last night was fun. Prior to their engagement, while they were on one of their off periods, Miley was spotted getting friendly with benefits with Step Up star Adam Savani in the summer of 2010. But nothing by the way of relationship was ever confirmed there. Nor was it with victorious and twisted star Avon Georgia, who was rumored to have had a non PG night or two with Miley that November. These two men must have not proven to be as well hung as Hemsworth, because Miley found herself back with him after a series of quick breakups and reconciliations. And this time it seemed they were meant to be. Liam proposed with a 3.5 carat Neil Lane diamond ring, which must have been enough for Miley because she said yes. And Ellen was all over it too, throwing Cyrus a bachelorette party on her show. Oh, hell yeah. But we all know 
how this would play up. After a year and a half engagement, the pair took a trip to Splitsville. Of course, the breakup came right around the same time when Miley Cyrus decided to start grinding up on Robin's dick. Whoops, I mean Robin Thick. <laughs> months would bring about a host of reported flings for Miley, including run-ins with Twilight star Keelan Lutz and Justin Bieber, though Miley would quickly deny that the seemingly inevitable one ever happened. She would go on to have a Halloween hookup with good Charlotte guitarist Benji Madden, and that dude, he's hooked up with everyone. And if I were to guess, he probably has everything. If you know, anyway, let's move on. Then Miley decided to switch teams for the first time, spending February 2014 with rapper Brooke Candy. During this time, she also shared her love of nudity with a man who was no stranger to being with women or being a woman. I'm talking about Jared Leto. The two had been friends for a while, but after a pre Grammys party, they apparently made the beast with two backs. It ultimately wasn't meant to be. Perhaps the 20 year age gap played a bit of a part. Who knows? But no skin off Miley's nose. In her time in the studio recording her album, Miley Cyrus and Her Dead Pets, that summer proved to be as much of a banger as her last album, particularly with producer Mike Will Made It. Turns out Mike Will Made It with Miley. You know what I'm saying? You gotta eat it like this. Around the same time, rumors began to swirl that Miley and her LOL co star at the time, Douglas Booth, they became an item. Not so according to the pair, and Miley confirmed this by entering into a five month relationship with the son of this guy. <laughs> Miley dated his son Patrick from November of 2014 to April of 2015, but after that, Miley would decide to go back to women. She was seen playing tonsil tennis with Victoria's Secret model Stella Maxwell in the summer of 2015, but things fizzled out shortly thereafter. It seemed her party days had finally come to an end, and by January of 2016, it was official. Miley Cyrus was single, but that wouldn't last long. Soon enough, she was back with Liam Hemsworth, and Miley was spotted ring toting on Instagram, confirming that the pair were once again engaged. I got a feeling that Miley let Liam know I'm just gonna go be a bit of a freak to fill up the bank account, then I'll be back. It'll be a good girl. We'll get this done. That's just my opinion. Anyway, let us know who's next on Six Degrees of Hooking Up. My name is Michael McCrudden. We've done a bunch of videos in this series. Be sure to check them out. Hit subscribe. See you guys in another video. Boom!